Aaron, what happened? I oh, don't know, you tell me. Oh, <laughs> see, I think the problem is, is, is we are in the point of the competition where fabulous Aaron wasn't enough against the other girls. I was really feeling the whole hip hop 90s. I'm in character. Can you do it for me? It's close. Close. That was a baby one. <laughs> but I was feeling it, you know, and I thought I was on point and it just didn't work for me. Well, I thought it was fabulous. Thank you, Drew. What was it like being on America's Next Top Model? I know it's probably a dream that you have had. But I auditioned for the show in 2003 first cycle and I lied about it, you know, because the age limit was what, 25 and I believe I was 27. And, but I wanted it so bad and it was just a dream of mine to become a supermodel. But, you know, they caught me in a lie, <laughs> of course, you know. And um, I just have been working ever since trying to model on the down low, you know, and try to still kind of execute my dreams. Right, between raising children yes. and living your life as a mom. I think that me having this dream was very much put on hold because I was a mother and I lived for my children, you know, and it was all about that. You know, I still had in the back of my mind, you know, I want to be a supermodel or at least I still want to model. I want to be in this industry, you know, but I have responsibilities. And then all of a sudden, Tyra drops the age limit. You and your twin sister applied, yes, correct? Yes, we both applied and we auditioned together and I ended up being chosen for America's Next Top Model. Do you feel like the judges gave you mixed feelings about, oh, for an older woman or don't act like an older woman or do you feel like that was kind of a ping pong game constantly? I was confused in regards to, okay, you continue to say you're 42, stop letting that be a factor in this competition, you know, and just model. But then I heard comments and critiques in regards to, you have to be youthful, you know? And I'm like, well, how do I do that? What, how, does, how do I have to present myself? And that was pretty challenging for me. I would disagree with you in saying that it depended on the creative of the week. So That's in true. some cases, it had to be useful mm -hmm. to be beautiful. In some cases, it could absolutely, you could be your age and we could celebrate that. Was it worth leaving your kids to, to do this? I have such a supportive family. My kids and my husband know who, know who I am. And so when this opportunity came, Drew, it was, Okay, mom, are you you're gonna do that, right? You're, you're like they're like pushing me out the door, you know. <laughs> and my husband was like, "I'll hold it down, you know. I know this is what you want, and that's what's so I, I love my family for that, you know. And I know my husband is holding it down for me at home, and he has my back. And my kids, they're so supportive of me and what what my passions are. They're like, we can't see her doing anything else, and if she doesn't do this then I know she's gonna regret it. And let's talk about some other kids. What was it like living in a house full of millennials? It was a house filled with narcissistic brats. And it was all about me, myself, and I. And the most irritating part of this experience was having to listen to everyone's stories and them not asking about yours you know, your experience, you know? It was like everyone was competing with themselves. Right. And so I was just like, okay, when do I get a break? You know, like I have to leave my family, you know, house full of kids, you know, to be able to come to this competition. Take me back to watching this show and being a fan and then walking onto that runway and seeing Tyra Banks in person. What's that like? <laughs> It's surreal, you know, and I can remember the day that I auditioned for America's Next Top Model in 2003 and was <laughs> sent home that day and watching the show from cycle one all the way up to cycle 23, 23 and then to be able to actually see myself on a runway with Tyra at the very end of the runway and me strutting and hearing you guys say, work, work, you know, it was surreal. I couldn't, I, I just couldn't imagine 
it being so sweet to me. It, it, it just it was great. <laughs> I'm gonna ask you some quick questions and you just have to answer them really, really fast. Who is the messiest in the house? Liz. Who is the horniest? Shanice. Who is the funniest? Kyla. Who is the craziest? Christiana. Well, I wish you the best of luck and I am a huge Aaron fan. All of your fans out there, who should they be rooting for now? I think everyone should be rooting for Shanice because she is an individual that has a journey through this whole entire competition from beginning to end. Someone that did not have any experience with modeling whatsoever and that just had a dream and said, you know what, I'm ready to be molded and become a supermodel. And so you've seen her progress in this competition and I love her, you know, and she makes me laugh. She reminds me of my sis. Um, and I think we should be rooting out, rooting for her through this competition. All right, <laughs> we'll see you. All right. Bye. Bye. Are you ready for more fabulous face-offs? Well, only the next level fear survives, so make sure to subscribe so you can follow along on the competition for the crowning of America's next top model.